This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. This may give us an opportunity to address some of our affordable housing issues. A community land trust. It's been done in other urban areas to ease the sting of rapidly rising housing costs. What it is, tops Channel 2 News at 5 o'clock. Well, the average price of a single family home here in Washoe County has jumped almost 20% from the same time last year. Big jump. I'm Kristen Remington. And I'm Landon Miller. Thank you for joining us. And our area continues to see a growing need for more affordable housing options. Well, Liz Bithelvetta joins us live in the newsroom with more on this. And uh, Liz, City Council recently made a step toward hopefully solving this issue. Yeah, Landon, well, they unanimously voted to give the green light to city staff to take a closer look into the community land trust. Now, it would provide options for lower and moderate income families to buy a house at well below the going market rate. These local weekly motels are home to almost 1,300 seniors, many of whom struggle to afford even studio apartments, and many of those motels are being torn down. We have to have a place for those people that are utilizing them to go to. It's only one part of the larger affordable housing issue the area is experiencing. That's why Reno City Council is looking into what's called a community land trust. Providing a housing model that people of lower income or moderate income can afford given the escalation of housing prices in our area. So what is it exactly? Created an affordable housing for people to buy into as they moved up uh, in their housing quality. First, housing is built on a vacant lot of city-owned land or land leased out by the city for the long term, think 99 years. Those houses are then sold outright to home buyers, typically priced to match what they can afford according to their income. Residents then pay an annual fee to the land trust to support operations. When that homeowner decides to move and sell the home, their house sells at a price set by the land trust, while the trust permanently retains ownership of the land underneath that home. The owner makes a small profit off of the equity gained while they lived there, and the rest stays within the land trust. For example, if a home is bought for $100,000 and then appreciates in value to $150,000 by the time of move out, 20% of that gain goes to the homeowner. So the owner would see a $10,000 profit and the rest of that $40,000 would stay within the land trust to continue making the home affordable for future buyers. As of right now, it's too early to say exactly where that land trust would be built, but McKinsey says the city does have a large surplus of empty land. Now, city staff is still in its beginning stages of analyzing the land trust feasibility. The city will first have to identify potential developers, nonprofits, and partners who might be involved. By summer, McKenzie hopes council will have a better picture of the plan and how to move forward. Covering the big story, live in the newsroom, Elizabeth Olveda, Channel 2 News.